It's your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. Zooming in on the topic of really the, the core missing pieces in the relationship with a narcissist. Now, the it is well documented in studies uh, that the brain scans of those who are clinically diagnosed as having a narcissistic personality disorder um, have certain structural abnormalities in the brain. In other words, there are certain areas of the brain, once they're scanned, that they show a thinning of neural activity or what they call a thinning of gray matter. Now realize that the brain itself is made up of a hundred billion neurons. Neurons are the type of um, cell which uh, create really that of the neural activity which is the brain activity and it's responsible really for all of the some uh, all of these systems within our body in turn you know including digestion including breathing including our heart rate um, etc and a lot of these are run uh, miraculously on an unconscious level in other words we don't have to tell our heart to beat we don't have to tell ourselves to breathe um, a lot of these are, are done on what we call the unconscious level. And um, with the, it's a, really one of the most miraculous uh, areas that are still a huge frontier in terms of uh, sci scientific discovery um, in, in terms of really all the different capabilities that the human uh, mind, brain uh, possesses. And really, it's, uh, it is a frontier and a forefront of study, particularly that of the brain scan. So they're able to really do what's called a, a scan or an MRI um, of the brains and um, you know, really see what activities are um, active, what areas of the brain are subdued or cooled off, not working, and able to distinguish really some of the differences in the structural anatomy of the brain between really healthy, um, you know, let's just, you know, just say normal and the spectrum of personality, um, and then those of narcissists, particularly, you know, isolating and determining what qualities make um, a narcissist, you know, the way that they are. And there's a wonderful German study, um, and this was brought to my attention by a viewer, um, where they had looked at the brain scans of uh, narcissists in particular, and they um, were able to discern an area, a thinning of uh, the left anterior insula, which is a, uh, a group of um, uh, neurons in the um, cerebral cortex, which is responsible for helping to modulate um, empathy and regulate feelings of compassion. And as you know, um, you know, compassion is really what makes humanity humanity. Uh, compassion is feeling for another. Compassion is understanding the struggles um, of another and then working also to arrive at a solution. So much of humanity, humankind, brotherhood, sisterhood, things of that nature, is based on that emotion of, of humanity and compassion, understanding. Um, and that really is what drives a sort of connection and a resonance in a relatability uh, to people is that sense of humanity. Now, um, this area of the brain in narcissists, which is uh, shown to have a, um, a thinning of the material, uh, the left um, anterior insula, um, you know, there, it's still so much of a, of a frontier that they're really arriving at, you know, why is it thinner? It could be due to lack of use. In other words, if you don't use empathy, if you don't activate it, um, that area is going to wither. It's going to um, be less than. And so, um, you know, it is, it is interesting to note because, you know, oftentimes um, I hear a lot of my clients say, you know, it just seems like something is missing in the relationship. And usually what is missing is that experience of empathy or compassion. So really empathy and compassion go a long way with keeping relationships feeling fulfilled. Um, and, you know, feeling like, you know, no matter where they're at in terms of fulfillment, we have different people in our life to satisfy different things. You know, um, we have all sorts of different relationships which, you know, more or less, um, cre you know, create a feeling of happiness socially or a feeling of fulfillment socially. 
and it's really that compassion and that humanity and that empathy that makes it feel like it is in balance. It is how it's supposed to be. And that really is um, a gift, especially in a world now where we have so many more narcissists, it makes it more and more difficult to find relationships where we're not feeling victimized, abused, and ignored. So realize that if you feel like something is truly missing from the relationship, if you feel like something is just not right, things aren't fitting together, things aren't making sense, perhaps, you know, look at some of this soul, you know, cluster of behaviors and see if you can determine, see if you can arrive at perhaps uh, the, the experience that you're not being heard, you're not being understood. Is compassion truly lacking? Can you zero in? Can you focus in on that concept? So not only are they self-absorbed, not only are they completely self-interested, and you know it's all about them, them, them. Is there really, uh, if you kind of do a review and a scan back um, over your experience with them, were they really missing a certain compassion? Were they me missing a certain empathy? And the narcissist model, um, yes, it is. And you know neuroscience tells us that. So um, you know realize that it was nothing that you could have done to have created or elicited a different response from them. This is how they treat relationships in general. So if you're feeling that void, or if you're feeling like something is just missing, that really emptiness is really what is kind of going on within that person. That is really what, you know, what they're experiencing on a day-to-day -day basis. And there's nothing you can do to change them. Really what you can do is just deepen and enrich your values, your connection to life, and what you find valuable and important and really meaningful because when it gets right down to it, that is really solely what matters. Peace and harmony with you here today. I hope these videos help. Please share and please subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussions, and support.